Hello everyone. Good part of the day. I hope everyone is doing great and having a good time. So in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to complete your timesheet for UCA Cooperative Education Program Department about your annual or monthly internship. So this timesheet, which is recommended to be completed on a daily or weekly basis, and you should complete it based on whatever you are doing. Just keep in mind that uh, for one month, uh, if you are working eight hours per day for five days of the week, it needs to be 160 hours. And for three months, it needs to be 480 hours. Let's say every year you see students are, are having three months of internship. So at the end of uh, their internship period, if it's for three months, they need to submit 480 hours to co-op department by completing this timesheet. So if you do not complete any of the documents like timesheet, uh, competency assessment, assessment form and your uh, uh, work report, then your internship hours will not be counted. So you just need to keep in mind that uh, this timesheet needs to be submitted after your line manager approval. You need to complete it, your line manager need to approve it, and then you have to submit it to co-op department. So let's start. So first of all, this is how the timesheet looks like. You guys can find it from LMS page or from model page of UCA. There is a dashboard. Uh, you can find co-op department there and you can download all the three documents from there. So first, Name of the organization means where you are working, where you are interning. For example, I am interning for University of Central Asia, co-op department. Then you need to write your complete name and surname, Sahir Shah Saidi. Then position that you're working. For example, I am interning as social mar media marketing. And your period of internship, it should be exactly written here. For example, mine is from 1st of June 2021 till 31st of August 2021. If you are working only for one month, you need to write it from, let's say, from 1st of June of 2021 till 31st of June 2021. Or if you are working from, let's say, from 25th of June, you should write it 25th of June 2021 till whenever you are working. It should be clearly written here. So here you are writing the dates, number of hours per day, and comments. Let's say my first day of internship is 1st of June, so I will just write first day of internship. I'm working for eight hours per day. What did I do in the first day? I had a meeting with convocation committee and discussed the video and task for the next week. So you should just write everything clearly. If you're completing it for daily basis, you need to complete it. Then from 2nd of June till 4th of June, I had to conduct interviews on campus for convocation committee and update the social medias group. So it is for three days. I did the same task for three days. You can complete it for a week as well. Okay, let's say in one week you had the same task. Just write it here. One week you will have five days, then write 40 hours. I had three days, I write 24 hours because three multiplied by eight is 24. Then you write whatever you did. So on 5th and 6th of June, it's day off. It's Saturday and Sunday, so it's day off. Let's say it depends on the countries that you're working. Let's say if you're working in Afghanistan, you have Fridays, day off. Thursday and Fridays, day off. So you need to just leave it blank or you just do not mention it at the timesheet at all. You can just don't mention it or you just need to leave it blank. Then on Monday, on 7th of June, I just add the same task. I did a weekly meeting with co-op and updated the social medias. I responded to students' question regarding a car internship. So I did whatever, I just wrote here whatever I did on that day. So let's, uh, and then on the other day, I had another task, which was updating about eco internship with on social media platform and posting about the 
uh, some entire uh, challenge on social media and whatever I do, you just need to write it, whatever you are doing. So far, it goes till the end of the month. So at the end of the month, you need to submit 160 hours. It, it will be calculated automatically. It need to be 160 hours every month. If you're completing the timesheet for one month, if you're completing it for one, let's say for three months, it needs to be 480 hours here. Once the timesheet is completed, let's say either, then you need to get the approval, let's say you need to get the approval of your line manager and then you need to submit. So without the confirmation of your line manager, the timesheet will not be accepted. And one more thing just I need to mention is that if you're working, let's say on daily basis, it's eight hour course. And if you're working on a, let's say hourly basis, you need to write the number of hours. Let's say if you're working for two hours per day, you just need to write it two hours. Okay, so this is how it goes. I hope uh, it was clear for you guys. So thank you so much. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to approach any of the cooperative education program team, either by email. And if you have any question, you're welcome anytime. Thank you so much and have a great day.